I'm just making a quick video again about the hydrogen running up into the catalytic converter. I've got some black tape on here so we'll get some readings. That's like too hot to touch. Two hundred thirteen, two twenty-five. So this is this unit's been running for about probably fifteen twenty minutes, and. It looks hotter than it is. You know, 120 degrees, it's like a hot day. And uh, whenever you hit the reflective, really reflective surface, you don't really get an accurate measurement. So uh, I'm just going to show you down inside the. I'm going to take the cap off here and we'll look down the hole. So that's just looking down through the honeycomb. And uh, yeah, so there it is. It's really hard to get a, a good, a good uh, heat reading off a shiny surface. Very difficult to get a good heat reading. It's shiny metal and it just doesn't, doesn't work with the thermal camera very well. But I can feel heat coming off it. About 225 to, you know, something like that, 222. Two thirty, And it just seems to keep rising, the temperature is rising. So, okay, all that is going through a sand-filled copper tube uh, right up here under the catalytic converter. Nice hot spot under there. I'll just tip it under and see if I can show you the hot spot. Okay, so hopefully that showed you. And I always use flash arresters, oxyacetylene flash arrestor, uh, small little gimmicky flash arrestor way back there. And the hydrogen cell has been running for about two hours. Uh, doing other projects and it's still at 85, 86 degrees. The water in the reservoir is a little hotter, 95 degrees, but that's 12 amps, 12 volts. Okay, peace.